I went to Cambodia with the hopes of researching the Cambodian reconciliation process. However, I arrived knowing only five words of Khmer and having only a textbook understanding of the culture and history. During the first four months of my Boran Fellowship, I spent my time listening and observing. I listened to women in the markets negotiate prices of vegetables. I watched children play in parks, travel to historical sites, and observe the slow walks and subtle smiles of monks leaving Pagoda. Working at the Khmer Rouge Tribunal, I could see the reactions of victims when they faced their perpetrators and listen to their stories. Every day, my eyes were open to a new aspect of Cambodian life. I set out to conduct field interviews with the assistance of a few Cambodian university students. I continued to observe local cultures and traditions, staying in the homes of villagers and doing my best to communicate. They were just as excited to learn about me as I was about them. Over dinner, we would talk about family, farming, as well as the Khmer Rouge. I was so excited to finally be at a point where I felt comfortable doing my research. I finally felt I, like I understood my research question and what the people wanted and needed to move forward. The months I spent listening and learning the language, observing and immersing myself in the culture was crucial to understanding the importance of my research. I never would have been able to develop relevant policy recommendations to present to local and government officials without that time. I went to Cambodia to research the reconciliation process, to understand how the tribunal and grassroots peace initiatives are bringing society together toward peace. My born experience became so much more. It became less and less about structures and processes and more and more about people. I worked with the Cambodian people to develop the legacy of peace that they want to leave for future generations.